we're going to explore the features of the trackpad on your MacBook. The trackpad will work um, using multi-touch gestures and there are a few different clicks and things that you'll have to get used to that are slightly different from your PC mouse. You can connect a USB mouse, whether that be a wireless USB or a wired USB to your Mac and it will work, but when you do that you do lose some of the functionality that is built in with the trackpad. So we're going to open our system preferences and within your system preferences whenever it opens you will find that there is an entire section dedicated to the trackpad. So we're going to open the trackpad settings. We're going to start with the point and click on the left. Now you notice that on each section you do have a video tutorial that's going to show you exactly what those things are and how they function. If you have the box checked, then that will be a function that can work using the trackpad. If it is unchecked, that is turned off. So the three finger lookup and data detectors are going to allow you to look a word up, check the spelling. Secondary click is also known as right click. You can set this to be the bottom right corner so that it does function very similar to a PC mouse. If not, your secondary click is a click with two fingers. And finally, tap to click is where you simply tap the trackpad and it will click for you. Below that, you have your tracking speed, which is how fast the trackpad actually goes whenever you move your finger across. Your scroll and zoom options will change the scroll direction if you want to natural or if you turn it off, you will not have the scroll direction as natural, you will have it as the opposite. So it tracks the finger movement with your two fingers sliding. Zoom in and out, where you can pinch with two fingers. One thing to note, this does not work with every single thing that may pop up and look like a photo. There are some things that do not do this simply because it's not reading it as a picture. Smart zoom allows you to double tap with two fingers in a general area and it will zoom in or out. And then rotate with two fingers typically applies to anything that is read as a photo. But again, there may be things that it's not understanding as a photo, even though it looks like it, so you can't rotate those. Finally, you have a few more gestures. One, you can swipe between pages, and as you can see, scroll left or right with two fingers. If you drop that down, you can swipe with three fingers or swipe with two or three, depending on how you want to, to change your settings. Swipe between full screen apps is actually the same as it is on your iPad, where you can swipe left or right with four fingers, or you can swipe left or right with three fingers. Your notification center is going to come by swiping from the right edge with two fingers, and it will show up onto your screen. Mission control actually allows you to see um, a view of all the things that you have open. So you can swipe up with four fingers, and this is actually the same idea on the iPad when you look at all the different apps that you have open. App Exposé is going to allow you to see specifically what you have running for that app. Launchpad is going to give you all the different apps that are available to you. So if you pinch with your thumb and three fingers, it will show up. And then finally show your desktop if you spread with your thumb and three fingers, it will hide the windows that you have so you can have quick access to your desktop. One other thing I'd like to point out in El Capitan, which is uh, what we are running right now, the OSX that we're running, if you have your mouse and you wiggle it around quickly, the mouse size will actually increase using the trackpad. That way you can locate your mouse quickly, or if you're doing a presentation, you can do that and it will show uh, show up larger so then you can have them specifically look at where you're pointing. One last thing to note is that if you hold down with the left click and then move the trackpad with another finger or your other hand with a finger on that hand, you can choose uh, and highlight multiple things at once. So that is the same idea as it is on a traditional PC laptop with the trackpad on a laptop, that works that way. Another thing to point out is if you hold down Command, you can click and choose multiple things uh, to add to a folder or to a file. Thank you for watching this video. Please explore other modules on the WCPS Professional Learning site.